Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do something very different. And this one was suggested by one of our of our fans on the comment section below. And I felt like this is something totally different. And yeah, so today we're gonna do um reset your mindset. Powerful motivation speech 2021. This is by Steve Harvey. And some other motivational speakers. So, anyway, without any further ado, guys, let's get it. I was talking to my trainer the other day. We were working out in my backyard, man. And I sat down on the wall and I said, Man, I'm struggling today. This is hard. And he said, What do you mean? I said, Man, this workout is hard. He said, No, nah, man, this is hard. He said, how you came from a poor kid in the projects to this house you got in this neighborhood? He said, that's hard. And I had to catch myself because working out ain't near as hard as the struggle to get where you want. Everybody in this room wants two things. Everybody wants to be successful and everybody want to be happy. I'm going to tell you something about that. That that happiness and success is available for every last one of you. But I'm going to tell you what you're going to have to do. You're going to change your mindset. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is right here. It ain't no difference. I ain't got no more than none of y'all got. God gave me the same thing he gave y'all. God loved me the same as he loved all y'all. But you have got to change your mindset. If you think that they're going to mail this money to your house, you're dead wrong about that. If you think they're going to pave the way for you and make it easy, you're dead wrong about that. If you want to be successful, you got to change your mind and you're going to have to have some faith. Listen to me. Rich people think differently. So what I'm going to put in your head today is a rich people concept. The only difference between successful people and not is just how they think. Rich people think different. You don't need another program to be successful. You need to change the way you think. The problem with becoming a millionaire is that when you decide that you want to be a millionaire, you immediately start thinking, how can I become a millionaire? Well, that thought don't just pop into your head, so you get frustrated and you don't become a millionaire. And you start creating stuff like, well, I guess this wasn't the Lord's will. You can't think of how to make a million dollars. Stop. But suppose I told you how you can become a millionaire with what you have. I am here to tell you that you can come from nothing and become something. Because here's the deal. All of you have everything it takes to become rich. You just don't believe it. I have the way for you to be rich. This is it. First of all, all of you have a gift. God gave it to you when he created you. The two most important days of your life is the day you're born and the day you discover why. All you have to do is uncover this gift that God gave you at birth. God never created a single soul without giving them a gift. That's the God that created you. He's a very smart God. God put what you needed inside of you at birth. All of you have a gift, but you have got to do your gift. The thing God gave you at birth to do, it is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Anything else you do and you wasting your time. Do most of you know what your gift is? Okay, let me tell you what you do. Go home today. Sit down and have one conversation with yourself. What is the thing that I do the absolute best with the least amount of effort? Write it down. I don't care if it's babysitting. I don't care if it's painting. Whatever it is, it's what you do. Sing it. Whatever you do the best, write it down. That's it. You ain't got to go asking a bunch of people. Now, let me ask you this question. This thing that you're gifted at, if you did it for somebody, do you think somebody would pay you $10 for your gift? 
Could you babysit for $10? Could you cut somebody's hair for $10? Could you cut their grass for $10? Could you do something for $10? Everybody, don't you have something somebody would give you $10 for? Okay, now, once you have something that somebody's willing to pay you $10 for, this is how this works. It's called the multiples of 10. See, you don't have to figure out how to be a millionaire. You just got to figure out the thing that makes you $10. So now here we go. You do it and you make $10. As soon as they pay you the 10, go do it 10 more times. Whatever it was, watch some more kids, 10 more times. Get another 10, you got $100. When you get $100, whatever you did to make that $100, do it 10 more times. You'd have made $1,000. Whatever you did to make the $1,000, don't get smart, stay stupid now. Do it 10 more times. Hold up. Now we finna grow a little bit, but guess what you gotta do to grow? You just gotta do some more. Whatever you made $10,000 doing, I need you to do it 10 more times. What you tripping for? If you do it 10 more times, you got 100 thousand dollars now you might have to hire some people to make this happen you got to figure that part out but all you got to do is do what you did for ten dollars once you make a hundred thousand dollars if you just do it ten more times here's the big challenge of life you can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are and of course the other side of the coin reads unless you change how you are you'll always have what you got I have found in my experience that income does not far exceed personal development. Now sometimes income takes a lucky jump, but sure enough, unless you grow out where it is, it'll usually come back where you are. If somebody hands you a million dollars, best you become a millionaire quickly. So you get to keep the money. Otherwise, sure enough, it'll disappear. Somebody once said, if you took all the money in the world, divided it up equally among everybody, it would soon all be back in the same pockets. Success is something you attract, not something you pursue. So instead of going after it, you work on yourself, personal development. Because true happiness is not contained in what you get. Happiness is contained in what you become. A friend of mine, Bishop T.D. Jake said, if you got a problem, man or money can solve, you ain't got no problem. So I want you to think about your goals and dreams, and here's what I want you to do right now. I want you to say to yourself, it's possible. Let me share something with you. The easiest thing that I do every year is to live my dream. The easiest thing I do every year is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Those are the easy things that I do. Let me share with you the most difficult thing that I've ever done in my life, and that was to believe that I could do it. To believe that I, Les Brown, who was born in an abandoned building on a floor in a poor section of Miami, Florida, to believe that I, Les Brown, who was labeled educable mental retarded, put back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade, to believe that I had the ability to live the life that I'm now living. And I want you to think about your goals and dreams, and I want you to expand them. Why? Because it has been said that most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss. No, most people fail in life because they're just like I was for 14 years. They aim too low and hit. The reason that I procrastinated for 14 years was because when I was in the fifth grade and Mrs. Mary Ford Williams said to Mrs. Crompton, he doesn't belong here. He is slow. And they put me back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade. That affected me. They say sticks and stones will break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Yes, they will. What is it as you look in your past that's affecting you right now? I, I saw a movie called Magnolia. Powerful line in that movie. We might be through with our past, but our past is not through with us. But you've got to take full responsibility. If everything work out for you, fine. If you have the money, fine. If you can get the help and support of friends and family members and your spouse, great. But if you don't, all of those things are minor things. The major key to your reaching your goals is you. Nobody's going to work on your dream harder than you. You've got to take responsibility 
to make it happen. If it happens when you come out the gate, fine. But if you fail, so what? Come back again and again and again and again. If it's something that you love, if it's your passion, until you do it, the people that make it in this life, they look around for the circumstances that they want, and if they can't find them, they create them. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Don't see yourself as a victim, and it's hard. It's hard. Changing your life is hard. It's hard to keep your spirit up, and people don't see the vision. The sacrifice that you have to make, I can tell you from my experience, it's worth it. Here's something I want you to keep in mind. Life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. That was amazing. What do you think? Well, it was <clears throat> nice to listen to. I mean, the story he tells of how he was told his maybe his mom was told he's too slow yeah. to learn. One thing I despise in this world is someone telling you you can't do something. I mm. really, really despise that. Someone telling you, oh, I'm blessed. The rest of us are blessed too, you know. Oh, um, this, the rest of us are that as well. You understand? You don't have to. I don't even, I don't understand what goes on in people's head to actually tell someone you can't do this thing. You can't achieve this. You can't do this. We shouldn't look down on people's thing. And I'm sure those words are the reason. I don't know who's this though. Mm, there's less brown and then there's. Who's this uh... brown? Steve Harvey, and then it's no, I think it was Les Brown speaking. Do you yeah. understand? And I'm sure those words affected him for a while. But it, I feel like certain things, as much as they affect us, let's use all of that coming from people that don't believe we can actually do something with our souls to push us forward. But before anyone can tell us very um, statements that put us down it's all up to us what do you want for yourself if you're comfortable with something then cool you don't have to be comfortable with the life that you're not comfortable with or the life that um, other people are creating for you at some point you move away from the life maybe your parents have created for you and you have to do your own thing sometimes we lose our footing because we don't know what we want for ourselves we are so used to what our parents have created for us we should want things for ourselves, want it for yourself and it's going to be something that you enjoy like doing something what was it anyway what do you think well i think about whatever i wanted to say um, i think this 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 is a really motivational type of of uh of the statements that they made i uh <clears throat> i like where steve harris talked about the uh the 10 the 10 times rule you know i mean uh, people really look at it that it's um, it's really hard to make it in life, but I feel like it's not that hard. You just have to change your mindset. That's why the the whole topic about this video is reset your mindset. I mean, it's just all about your mind. And I was listening to somebody else just the other day, and he was saying that if if um, um, the reason as to why you're not rich is because you're lazy, you're stupid, and you're something else. You mentioned something else. And, I mean, at this world we live in today, it's so easy for you to even become rich really fast. Because there's so many uh, avenues for you to start off with. There are so many things you can just go and, you know, just... You can leverage yourself. You can write a proposal to somebody who's create a business plan, give it to somebody, but it's just because the most of the people are maybe lazy, maybe the mindset is, I mean, the mindset has to change. And so I like where Steve, Steve Harvey talked about the, um, the 10 times rule where, uh, you, you have a hundred dollars and then multiply it by 10, you have already like 10,000 and then I think 1,000. 1,000. Yeah. And then, 10. Uh, yes and then uh 
when the work becomes so much that's when now you start scaling up by employing more people to expand your business you understand and i like that aspect of just expanding your business i like people who think in a manner where you don't have to sit down just because you're comfortable enough with what you have right there knowing that this thing is bringing in money when you think 10 times of that idea is going to bring even more so putting more people in there to work for you and then get more like that like that i mean that was really 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 good and les brown talked about just what you just mentioned i mean um i mean he was told like it couldn't be be like this it couldn't be like that do you understand and i'm sure that we go through a lot of uh uh you know um challenges like that i mean people look at you you know people think that you can't do something for yourself people think like you cannot move from point a to point b simply because they feel like you you're totally nothing or because you scored an e in high school so there's no chance for you to elevate yourself when it comes to this life or whatnot and there's a lot of people probably even in class some of these people maybe they're not really good enough with these numbers or whatever thing or cramming things and you know and then i mean again this has to to stop because you can't judge somebody because of the grades that he gets in high school or in in, in elementary school or maybe in in, in whatever uh, class that he is in it's all about the mindset do you understand you can score that a but if your mind is just set up to think just uh, you know think low then you will never find yourself to a position where you earn you you have this kind of wealth you understand so i know of a lot of people who scored a but they're still struggling in life because they are only taught that direction i mean their mind their mind is just like really closed you know they're they're not uh, willing Sometimes to these minds are closed because someone else is thinking for you that's why i mentioned exactly. like parents already know what way we want they want us to go do you understand yeah. so I'll just be thinking that although it makes me miserable that's why you see like um most of these e students they're employing students who scored a to work for them and you wonder what is happening with this it's just because uh this e, e student was really uh i mean he did he felt that this is not his path so he already knew exactly what he wanted to become so he started he started off at an early stage while these people are still struggling up to uh go through the education path and whatnot getting those A's and More the degrees like he and started what. thinking for himself yeah you know than yeah. relying on a, a program that's yeah been program like. yeah you see so i mean such a good motivational whatever video and Man, this is amazing. Thank you for giving us this suggestion. You guys keep on giving us some kind of things. If And I hope you guys also love what you've talked about. And also the aspect of believing in yourself. Just when you wake yeah, up in the... That's very important. You wake up in the morning, just say, I am blessed. I am, you know, just start with I for, for you to be able to... Have uh, everything I want. You know, exactly, you know. So the most gratitude is very important. I wake up in the morning, thank... Uh, Thank God for what you have. It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter what you have. Thank Him because some people don't have what you have. Some people are in a deep situation where if you think about it, you feel like you're in heaven. Do you understand? Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Just tell yourself you can achieve anything you yeah. want. You can do it with the people that believe you, without the people that don't believe in you. If there's anything that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video deuces